Want to get rid of cockroaches without busting the bank? Follow these steps to turn your pantry into a weapon of roach destruction. Results may vary, so you may want to try a few different options to see what works best for you. DIY remedies are always the most affordable methods for getting rid of unwanted roaches, since they only require things you probably have in your home already. For this one in particular, Smith's Pest Management suggests you'll only need a handful of chopped onion and baking soda. Place your chopped onion on a plate and sprinkle a thin layer of baking soda over the slices. Put the dish where the roaches have been hanging out the most and wait for them to make their way over and eat the onions. When the roaches ingest the baking soda, it bubbles up in their stomachs and causes them to burst. You'll find the dead roaches easier once they've ingested it, since the baking soda will act quickly. Since this method only targets one roach at a time for those that make their way up to the plate, you'll need to reuse the method a few times until you've eradicated all of them. It's worth noting that this is only a temporary fix, so you might have to concoct the mixture again if they ever reappear in your home. Cockroaches despise the scent of lemons, limes, oranges, and other citrus fruits. My name is Mr. Orange. Mr. Orange? You can use this aversion to your advantage by making a roach deterrent spray. Not only will the spray help keep the pests away from the areas they're invading, it'll also leave behind a fresh and invigorating scent as an added bonus. To make a deterrent spray, simply mix a few drops of lemon or orange essential oil with some water and add it to a spray bottle. Apply the solution anywhere you've seen roaches or noticed signs of their presence. Adding citrus essential oils to your mop solution is another way to benefit from their power. You'll spread the scent across the entire floor, making it unappealing for the pests. Just take note that this approach will not kill the roaches, so you'll still need to do something else to actually clear up the infestation. However, it can be helpful as a preventative measure to deter them in the first place. For this next roach-killing measure, Family Handyman says all you'll need is your choice of fabric softener, water, and a spray bottle to hopefully get some results. Mix three parts of fabric softener with two parts of water and put it in a spray bottle. Whenever you see a roach, simply spray it with the mixture. This method is a little more time-consuming since you have to keep an eye out for the roaches. The reason for this is that they need to have direct contact with the spray to be affected by it. However, the mixture should kill the roaches instantly since they'll be suffocated by the scent of the fabric softener. This is only a temporary method, and like the onions and baking soda, you'll likely need to use the spray often to get all of the roaches. Since they come out at night, it may be easier to plan your attempts at catching the roaches for later in the day. Epsom salt is often used for alleviating body aches, and it's for the same reason it could be effective against roaches in your home. The magnesium sulfate that makes it so effective at loosening tension and decreasing inflammation may also make it an effective solution when you're looking to combat a cockroach problem. This compound has a crystal-like structure with lots of small protrusions. These poke the exoskeleton of roaches that come into contact with it like a bunch of tiny needles. Once the shell has been penetrated, the pests will become dehydrated, eventually drying up and dying. To use Epsom salt to get rid of cockroaches, add it to a shallow bowl or plate and place it in an area where you've noticed the insects. To make it easier for the roaches to take the bait and climb into the bowl, consider making a few small ramps using sticks or cardboard. Alternatively, you can add Epsom salt to a spray bottle with some water and spray any intruders you see with the solution. Even when mixed with water, the crystal should still be plenty sharp and pointy enough to puncture the exoskeleton. Just like other animals, roaches need food to survive. Eliminating potential food sources can go a long way in helping you clear up an infestation and prevent them in the future. One of the most important areas of your home that you'll want to pay attention to is the pantry. If there are any crumbs or open packages, you're welcoming roaches to settle in for a big feast. Instead of leaving a tempting invitation for these pests, take measures to roach-proof the space. Start by cleaning off the shelves and wiping them down to get rid of any crumbs. Then, throw out spoiled food or packages that aren't sealed. Place everything else in airtight containers that the roaches won't be able to get into and make sure they're tightly sealed every time you place them back in the pantry. Similarly, you'll also want to make sure that any dog or cat food is in a sealed container since the roaches aren't picky about what they eat. Just like baking soda, boric acid kills the roaches when they consume it. According to anti-pesto bug killers, you'll need boric acid, flour, and sugar for this extermination method. To begin, mix equal parts of the boric acid, flour, and sugar into a dough. 
from the dough, make small round balls and place them in areas where roaches are likely to pass by. The sugar and flour will attract the roaches to eat them, and once they ingest the dough, the boric acid will kill them. It takes a little while for the boric acid to do its work, so the roaches will most likely go back to where the rest of the group is and die. The other roaches will then feed off the dead roach and also die. While results may vary, this method will likely be a more permanent solution than some alternatives, as the other roaches get involved as well. However, be mindful that boric acid can be harmful to pets, so if you have furry friends, make sure they're not around the dough or skip this method altogether. According to the spruce, when roaches enter your home in groups, they eat and excrete as they move throughout the space. They'll pick up what another roach left behind and continue on their way. In order to trap them, you're going to need the roach's droppings, a container, tweezers, and a roach trap. There are various roach traps available in stores, and any should suffice. Place the roaches' droppings in a container you don't use, and then use tweezers to scatter them in areas you think the roaches are passing through. Once you place all the droppings, wait and see which area the roaches pass through and place your traps there. By using the droppings, the roaches are eating more than they normally would since they're consuming the bait and their findings. This is just one way to lure them to the traps. Going this route will likely be a recurring process since it won't capture all of the roaches at once. Roaches are small and can gain entry to your home more easily than you might think. Their tiny bodies can crawl through cracks or holes in the foundation, openings around your windows and doors, or broken window screens. An opening as small as 1 16th of an inch is enough to let them inside. Tenants say cockroaches have invaded their apartments, coming out of the walls, crevices, and outlets. We One way to prevent future infestations is to deny them access to your home in the first place by sealing all of these openings. You want to perform a thorough inspection of your home, looking for any cracks in the wall or foundation that these bugs might be able to enter through. Then, use a caulking gun to close off these entry points. Applying weather stripping around your doors and windows to seal gaps will also help. Similarly, if you have any broken screens, you'll either want to replace them or fix them using a mesh repair kit. Roaches love to hide out in the dark corners of your home. According to the pest rangers, any place without light, such as behind the fridge, the inside of the stove, the underside of the sink, trash cans, basements, or attics are all likely to attract the pests. You'll need to clean out all those areas regularly in order to prevent roaches from arriving. Be sure to throw out any unwanted trash, such as cans, papers, and food. Roaches are always on the hunt for food and water, so if there are any crumbs or open containers left on the counter, they'll come for them. Normally, roaches will leave on their own if they can't find what they're looking for, so it never hurts to have a clean house to keep them away. And on top of that, you might just find a few you can get rid of while you're cleaning. If you've tried some home remedies and they don't seem to be doing the trick, there are a variety of roach traps you can find at the store. Some traps use poisonous bait to attract roaches and kill them, while others feature a special glue that traps and kills roaches over time. Whatever option sounds good to you, you can find them in stores and online at reasonable prices. So stop coddling your roaches. They've had it too good for too long. If even official roach traps don't solve the problem, it might be time to reach out to your local pest control professional. They'll be able to evaluate the situation if your house has been infested with roaches and help you remove them forever. The spruce claims that you'll probably spend between $200 and $500 for the process, depending on what pest you're dealing with and the location of your home. The professional should be able to quickly identify the type of roach in your home and the best way to remove them. They'll be able to give you a breakdown of the cost and how long it will take for the process to be complete. You always want to do your research and go with someone you trust to make sure the roaches won't return without overcharging you or leaving the issue unresolved. 